take his glasses off. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Alex. We're doing a collab today. Hi. Really pleased to be here. <laughs> Come sit. We are doing a Q&A today. Stop it! <laughs> We're doing a Q&A today because I just filmed a video for my channel and we've got the lights set up. We've never used lights before. Yeah, they're pretty swell. Yeah, and we thought we would sit and do a Q&A while the lights are set up because... I haven't really looked in the mirror today. Do I look, do I look good? You look beautiful. Um, but we thought we would just do this because we can't just vlog every single day. I mean, we could, but it we wouldn't be... We can't think of any content to make. <laughs> But we've got a lot of questions, so let's just get into it. Have we? Yeah. Ooh. So, how old are you guys? I'm I'm the youngest. I'm I'm a, I'm 26. I'm 26 too. I'm a month older. Yeah, Maddie is going to be 27 very soon. My birthday is the 21st of January, and Alex is the 23rd of February. Yeah. So, if you want to send us money on those dates, <laughs> my PayPal is. Yeah. <laughs> how did you both manage to work your jobs, work make your jobs work from home ones? Can you hear the dogs? Um, well, I started making YouTube videos back in 2016 when Alex still had a normal job. I actually didn't have a job at that time. Oh, you didn't? Then no. you became a, you worked at a bar in a normal yeah. job. And um, yes. I was yep. working part time for my mum. I quit my job that I had before that, I hated it. And I started doing YouTube for fun and then it started to make money. And then we saved up to go traveling because we'd wanted yep. to go traveling for a while. Yes. And when we came home from traveling, we kind of had a moment of, hey, what are we gonna do? Because I'm like, I wanted to continue doing YouTube and Alex was thinking maybe he needs to get a normal job. Yeah. So we just decided to start working together yep. and see how it went. And we moved to Brighton and we were like, let's give this a go. Let's move out of home. I've said this story so many times. Lots of people haven't heard <laughs> yeah, this story. Yeah, I know, because um, it, was, it was like- Because they've asked. Yeah, it was like on the cusp. It was like, this, your channel. Yeah could make money mm -hmm. so we need to make a decision like am I going to go and get a part-time job maybe like a full-time job what am I going to do yeah and I was looking for a month or two when we moved to Brighton about a yeah. year ago and then I just kind of fell into this I suppose because I was doing it anyway I was already kind of filming and helping you with stuff yeah and I was making money from YouTube before that but like nothing that you could really make a living no. on it was below minimum not wage not for two people no. not for two people barely even for one um but i made do because um i just did and we just gave it a go and i would I, my best advice is to make it work just give it a go and see how it goes if it doesn't work out it doesn't work out and maybe it wasn't the right path but i believe if you try something um you may as well you may as well give it a go that's what I think. And that's what I said to you, because Alex was nervous, but mm. I was like, let's just try. If it doesn't work out, what's the worst that could happen? You just go get another job. We're both educated. We've both, we both got things to fall back on. We've got degrees. Mm. So I said to him, we're fine. Yep. What are your New Year's resolutions? I, don't, I haven't thought about it yet. Maybe I could think of one. I'm sure I wrote down this year's and I have no idea what they were. I think my biggest New Year's resolution is to uh, not stress out as much. That's probably my biggest one. Because I do have a tendency to get stressed out and to make things stressful for myself and worry. And I really want to work on that. Mm. That's probably my biggest one. What about you? Um, I think one would be to not put things off as much as I tend. I'm getting better at it, but it's always been a problem of mine, like procrastination. Yeah. Um, and it just makes things worse in the end. I just need to get better at that. Just yep. do it. Are you more of an introvert or an extrovert? We're both. I'm an introvert. I think. Well, I'm an INFP, and you're INTP. P or TJ? No. Uh, Wait. Let me just look this up because <laughs> I don't want to get this wrong. Sixteen personalities. So. so I am INFP, but also I think I'm. I'm on the like cusp of an extrovert and an introvert. So I've taken the test a few times. And I've been mostly INFP, but sometimes I've taken it, I think I've taken it once and I got ENFP. Because, and I think when I did the, the test, I got like 49% introvert and 51% yeah, extrovert. I that, yeah. Because I am half very introverted and half very extroverted. And when I tell people I'm an introvert, they're like, really? So. But you make YouTube videos. Well, no, because even friends who know me, because I am very extroverted. I'm very chatty and very bubbly. And mm. as you can probably tell from these videos, but 
I also need time by myself and I'm very introverted. Mm. And then your personality, you're definitely an introvert, way more than I am. Yeah. But your um, I can't remember the personality name. type is... I think it was INTP, INTP. or... No, you're an INTP. Yeah, but I also got one where I was... No, no, no. INFP. No, you're not. I'm just wrong. You're an INTP. So Alex is exactly the same as me, except you're a thinker rather than a feeler. So you're, okay. I'm feeling, you're thinking. What's P? P is perception rather than judgment. Okay. So yeah, our, yeah. Alex is iron. He's a logician, and I am a mediator. I think they're pretty accurate. I'll the leave mediator the mediator. Is the picture of the mediator? Is like a hippie running through flowers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I know you didn't ask what my personality type was, but that's what I think a lot of people are referring to. But I'll leave the quiz below if you yeah. don't know your Myers yeah. Briggs type. What was the hardest thing when you became vegan? Uh, giving up cheese and uh, cheese and chocolate. Milk chocolate. Milk chocolate. Yeah. But I don't know if that was the hardest thing. Maybe the hardest thing was adapting and um, explaining to other people all the time why you're vegan mm. and what it is. Yeah, in terms of a food, I'd say it'd probably be probably cheese. But by the end, I was kind of vegan except for cheese. And I, mm. I, at the end, I kind of went off cheese. It was just like I had this block of cheese in the that. fridge. And I was like, this isn't very tasty. Yeah. I'm not going to eat this. I think I may as well just be vegan. Yeah. So I kind of did it. But for a while, it was cheese because that was kind of... I was yeah. vegetarian, but I didn't really drink milk or eat eggs. Um, I've never really liked honey. Uh, but yeah, it was kind of having a bunch of dishes that you knew and that you could cook. And I guess that was it. Yeah, sometimes like we'd be eating the same thing, two or, two or three of the same dishes every week. And I got a bit bored of it, but then we got much better. Or at least I got much better at getting lots of dishes. Mm -hmm. Do you guys plan to get married? Hmm. See how it goes. When we move into a house, I think we'll see. I've only been wait, eight, waiting eight years. Well, you've been wait, you haven't been waiting eight We've been going out eight years, but you haven't been waiting since day one, have you? Are you going to take up cycling again after your move? Yes. Yes. We miss cycling so that much. That's part of the appeal of... Part of the Cornwall. reason. Yeah. Um, Brighton sucks for cycling. I'm sorry, Brighton. When was your last Strava on? I don't know. Yeah, it's probably like September. As or in, something. Brighton is great for cycling, as in getting from A to B. They have amazing yeah. cycle paths, but and it's like you don't cycle want to friendly. Cycle in a big loop around town, it's boring. But not for like bike rides, like fun yeah. cycling. I think if we'd really been dedicated, we could have done some good ones. Because you're right by like the South Downs, which is a really nice countryside. Yeah. But we could like it's kind of. Very, I was lazy about it. Yeah, but some of the I would roads just rather very, walk to the gym. Some of the roads are very fast as well. I was like, I'm, yeah. not, I'm not enjoying this. What does Alex do for a living? Love your videos. So we talked about that before. Yes. We work together well, you're on not this. Listening. <laughs> so we do this channel. Alex does a lot of the editing. He does a lot of the filming, well, all the filming, oh, photography. Whoa, one second. Look at that. What? That light, like on the hill over pretty, there. Yeah. It's like, um, sorry. Alec, we work together on everything. Every video you ever see is a collaborative effort. Will you get a bullet journal flip through at some point? Oh, will we? Maybe in the new year, maybe I'll do a, a bullet journal, how I am doing my setup for January. Oh, right, yes, yeah. okay. Maybe. You need a new one, don't you? Yes. How do you balance living, working, relationship, doing it all together? Um, <clears throat> I actually think that when we started, I was really worried about it, and there were a few hurdles we had to overcome, but I think because our personality works, our personalities work together so well in a relationship, they also end up working quite well in business too hmm. there are just definite things that wind me up about alex and vice versa and they're the, all they're the same things that wind me up in and, and vice versa yeah. in a relationship personal life so yeah. what we were talking about before the things we need to work on so me being less stressed that will wind you up in working and I our suppose, relationship yeah because i'll be like stressed out and maybe take it out on you well, a lot or of the time i have to calm you down and yeah. help you and a lot of time you have to but then Alex uh, up, procrastinates. You have, to, you have to get me going to do work. Yeah. So, it's so kind of, yeah. Alex thing that he has to work on is procrastinate. He often won't do work until later on. I'm like, hey, you need to do this. Yeah. You haven't done it yet. So it's actually all one and the yeah. same. And we started having Monday meetings on Monday morning, which... We've done that for ages. Yeah, but I think that's really helpful yeah. in terms of balancing, like, when you live and work together and, you know, in the same space, it's mm -hmm. really good to start Monday with, like, a an in-depth meeting of what you're doing that week in your personal life and your business and all these videos you're filming and maybe you're and we're back the hi ba welcome back part two the battery and the memory card yeah. ran out what Ooh. were you saying about working together yeah i think we're done we're done with that one i think so are there any non-vegan foods you really miss we answer this question every q a mm. that's always a question and we always say no because you can get it vegan yeah, or at least i always I say that it was bacon but 
I like the vegan bacon, so it's not yeah, a big deal. Like literally no. Oh, I'm not supposed to be wearing these. No, you're not. <laughs> Can you show us your current skincare and makeup routine? You look radiant. Thank you. That's very sweet. Um, honestly, my skin is crap right now. I have a gigantic spot here and a huge spot here, but the lighting and makeup is covering it up. I don't have a skincare routine right now. I literally wash my face with water and maybe soap sometimes and put a bit of moisturizer on. I have one that I got from, is it Dr. Johns? J Jackson? Jackson, that's Dr. it, yeah. Dr. Jackson, they mm. sent it to me and I love it. It's lovely. My makeup routine is exactly the same as the video I posted um, a while back. I still use the same Azaleek products that I talked about, that I got from iHerb mm. a while back because they sent me all these products. I fell in love with them, they're amazing. I'm still using them and I'll still use them until they run out and probably buy them again. But my mascara, I recently got an Inica mascara. So all of my makeup products are Inica, um, and as a leak and then also I love I have a Barry M cheek tint that I wear every day and I've worn it every day for like a year have you yeah every day Pretty, when you put makeup whenever on. I wear makeup okay, right. not every day <laughs> but just go watch that video um to go see my like how I do my makeup was she asking you <clears throat> or me are you thinking about having a baby I love your videos and I really enjoy your authenticity oh thank you are we thinking about having a baby are we not yet no. Mm, no, no. I no. I think about having a baby all the time because I've I'm a very motherly person, and I've wanted a baby probably since I was like 11 years old. But realistically, I want to probably have a baby when I'm 30. Mm. I'd like a dog first. But then I don't know. Now we move down to Cornwall, I feel like things might happen faster. <laughs> mm. <laughs> How do you stay on budget when shopping? I find myself buying new vegan goodies. Mm. Um. <laughs> We used to be really good at this, we not so much to, yeah. recently. Uh, well, we'd I'm better make a at shopping it. list. Make a shopping list. Uh, and like, make, Stick maybe to make it. like, plan all your meals or your dinners yeah. for that week out. And then the ingredients you need. And then you'll find you won't be buying much stuff. Like maybe you'll get, I don't know, a packet of crisps or like mm. a, a treat here and there. But you won't be... That's what we used to yeah, do. Yeah, because I'm always tempted. Like when you go through the aisle where they have like the new like vegan steaks or like fish goujons or those like um, ham and chicken corn vegan slices for sandwiches. It's always very tempting to just like grab a yeah. few, but I try well, what, to Yeah, when that. we used to do our like meal plans properly and we would pretty much stick to it and then maybe get a packet yeah. of crisps or some biscuits along with it. What was our budget for like a week? 40 pounds. So 40 pounds for the both of us. We probably yeah. double that now because of food blogging. Mm. <laughs> How do you edit the photos on your Instagram? If yes, then what program do you use? I use VSCO and I usually use, I use like a warm filter, I'll tell you which one it is. I paid for VSCO and I use M6 pretty much and then I just fiddle with the other things and then I also use Aiden on the Instagram app, if mm. that helps you. And I take photos of my iPhone and also my Canon 80D. I use Instagram. <laughs> When's your moving day and when are you going to show the house? So. Pah. We are in my parents' house right now, and hopefully we move into the house next weekend. And this is Sunday. This is yeah, yeah. So it's, in a week. It's the last hurdle now, but we're moving With any soon. Luck. Yeah, it will be in Vlogmas. Just stay tuned. What's your favourite Christmas dessert? Something chocolatey. I never used to like Christmassy desserts. No, I never liked Christmas pudding. No, me um, neither. I I like the Christmas. Christmas, the ch chocolate tort. My mum makes a, like a vegan Nutella yeah. chocolate tort. I'll leave the link to the uh, recipe because it is the most delicious. You made it? Or is pudding? it a recipe she uses? It's not a recipe you've used, is it? I've made it. Yeah, but you didn't make the recipe. No. Oh, okay, right. No, no, no. It's a, it's a non-vegan recipe, but she just makes it vegan by using vegan butter mm. and vegan Nutella. But I'll leave the link because it's really simple, but I it's think, so yeah. delicious. Who are each of your favourite superheroes? I like this question. Uh, Wonder Woman. I knew you'd say that. Um, I'm not really a superhero person. Alex makes me watch all the movies and I really liked mm, Wonder have Woman. Have you seen the new trailer for Avengers 4? No. Oh. Probably... Oh, I also love... Um, oh my God, what's his name? The really amazing one we watched. That's, Black Panther. Yeah, Black Panther. Yeah, I also love Black Panther. He's an okay superhero. No, they're my two favourites. My two um, favourite movies, anyway. I like Batman or... Oh, I love Batman too. Okay. Because we, I guess we grew up before the Marvel Universe was a big thing. It was all about Batman. Um, Batman was my favourite movies ever. I, I watched um, The Dark Knight three times in the cinema. Yeah. I loved it so much. I like 
I do like Iron Man. Yeah, he's your well. favourite. Mm. Um, any any travel plans booked? Yes. We are going to Marrakesh at the end mm -hmm. of January. You're going to York in January as well. Oh, so I am. Yeah, I'm going to York to see my uni friends. Some going, of whom I haven't seen in a couple of years. So probably go out to London in December. And... Mm. Oh yeah, to see my sister yeah. and and they'll be like the thing with the thing that I find is I don't tend to I try not to like organize or book too much in advance because travel plans always come up anyway because mm. it's always I have friends we both have friends all over from all over the world so they always end up happening yeah. so every but month we always end up traveling we'd like to we'll probably go to maybe Brussels next year and Brussels. back to Mallorca probably yeah um, but we don't really yeah we haven't planned I want a to summer go, holiday yet we've talked about we want to go to Japan next year and maybe oh, America yeah. maybe Canada so we've loads wow. of travel plans yeah that's a lot do you consider palm oil Ooh. vegan is buying leather second hand vegan um, palm oil, it, it's one of those things that's debated a lot and I think the best thing to do when it comes to palm oil is avoid it as much as you can. Um, but there's loads of issues with avoiding palm oil and boycotting it altogether because then it means that, you were talking about this the other day, the fact that if you boycott yeah. palm oil altogether and don't even buy sustainable palm oil, then they'll start using other or other plants that aren't as efficient as palm oil is. Mm, and they may well have the same, well, issues. same similar problems, maybe not with like rainforests and chimpanzees orangutans but other problems yeah i don't know i haven't looked into it too much but um I try, I try to avoid it in stuff where i don't yeah. think it's necessary but if it's something like sustainable palm oil or so they say it's sustainable palm oil i'm kind of happy to get yes, that because i feel like that's what you want to push it towards yeah i think that avoiding animal products is far more important there's lots of buzz and hype around palm oil and yeah, in terms uh, of rainforest land destruction destroyed, it's animal more, products yeah. are the worst buying leather secondhand i think it's up to the individual yes i think it is vegan because mm. i think that actually it's better for the environment and as a vegan you've got to think about the environment and buying a new not a new vegan pair of shoes for example is less sustainable than buying a secondhand pair of leather shoes you know that's got to be produced in some way and the materials have got to come from somewhere yeah. so and i think there's so many products yeah. out there i don't really like wearing leather that much i so, don't either though so, so i, I don't own any so it's not a big thing that i have to think about but no. like i have one pair of old leather shoes that yeah are still good i don't have I, any leather shoes anymore i got rid of them all yeah someone thought you're but Doc this Martins. is wool is it yeah i don't mind wearing wool this was second hand i think if you're gonna get anything second hand you're winning so don't worry about it mm. but someone thought your Doc martins were leather the other day yeah like, oh but but you're wearing leather shoes and it's like, actually no. actually um when you're done with youtube what will be your next adventure um death I don't know. I don't really like to think of like being done with YouTube because I'm only just starting on YouTube. It's only been a couple of years. Like a YouTube career, who knows how long they will last because it's such a new industry. It's such a new form of media that mm. nobody really knows the length of a YouTube career. So I would want to do this for at least the next few years, five years. And within that time, I want to start, you know, creating cookbooks and products and other things and get involved in doing other things things another way so I just I want to create a business surrounding YouTube like a lot of YouTubers do so that there's more um more that I'm doing that isn't just making YouTube videos so it has longevity I want to do up houses yes that's Alex's main goal because obviously yeah. YouTube was something I started and Alex likes it but your thing you really want to do I like that too though yeah uh, like um ha both developing like, houses you know, and stuff who knows what the future holds do you have any exciting plans for 2019 regarding your business or is it all a secret I really want to write a cookbook a physical cookbook I don't think that's really a secret I've said that many times I have ebooks but I really want a cookbook there are plans and there are things going on and hopefully things will be very exciting in 2019 yes there's lots of things we have ideas for, loads of ideas. Zero waste gift ideas for Christmas. Um, experience gifts. Get someone like a massage. My sister got me a gift a couple years ago that was um, a hot meal and, what, I got this for oh, you yeah, as well, was, didn't um, I? like a homeless charity Christmas. Yeah, it's a homeless charity, so. Like a donation, I mean, yeah. yeah. So she got me like a small gift, but the main gift was a donation and a hot meal um, for someone who was homeless, which mm. I loved. Other things that are zero waste, buying secondhand stuff. So last year, loads of my Christmas gifts were secondhand. Yeah, I've actually done that a lot this year. Oh, it's great. Like secondhand electronics, yeah. but they're practically brand new. Yes. So 
Do you have something in mind? Who won't know that no. they're not brand new? Well, no, they won't necessarily. Yeah. I got my dad a beer glass. He loves beer, and I got him oh, yeah, a lovely yeah, new, yeah. brand new beer glass from a charity shop. Oh, that was in my... like a box and everything. Yeah, like I got my uncle yeah. a Christmas jumper that looked pretty much brand new. I got my grandma a book. Yeah, just think outside the box. Look for secondhand stuff and experience gifts. How excited are you for moving and owning your own home? I'm so happy for you. I am so excited. I could scream, and I want to be in my house now. Scream. No. <sighs> I literally cannot tell you how excited I am. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It'll be nice to have our own space. Yes. Is the house you're purchasing a fixer-upper? So, it kind of is, but it kind of isn't. Sort of halfway. Halfway in yeah. between. That's what we wanted. We didn't want a new house. We didn't no. want a house that was done because... It was one we viewed, like... That was, was a like total fixer-upper. Number seven or something in the ones we did. Yeah, you yeah. saw that one. It, it was, was totally run down. It was gigantic and it had... It's like it hadn't been altered since it was built, I guess, yeah. in like the 50s, 60s, yeah, 70s. 60s. Yeah, 60s. But um, it was just too much. We didn't want anything like that. But equally, we didn't want something new because we want to treat yeah. it like an investment and we want to actually inject some personality mm -hmm. into it and increase the value of the property. So we found something that is, um, you'll find out which one it is soon, but it's something that is perfectly livable for as much time as we want to as is but it has so much room for improvement like um i think a lot of you guys didn't actually like the house that we have picked nobody seemed to <gasps> spoilers nobody seemed to like it but i think that's because number one you're just seeing a tiny little clip yeah. in a video but number two it's because it's not done and we're buying it as a house that we're going to be doing loads mm -hmm. to in the future mm -hmm. which i can't wait to do uh what are all the breeds of your dogs Midnight is a Bernese Mountain Dog, mm -hmm. Elmo is a Labradoodle, and Willow is a Springer Spaniel. Who would play you in a movie about your life? Daniel Radcliffe. It would either be David Tennant or Daniel Radcliffe oh, for you. David Tennant, yeah. Who would play me? Katy e Perry. No, don't be so ridiculous. Everybody in my videos always says Rachel Wise, Kristen Ritter, and Winona Ryder. Ah, uh, Winona Ryder. I get those comments Kristen Ritter, every day. I think when you were younger and you... Yeah, you look so much... When you were like, kind of like stick thin yeah when i was yeah. really skinny when yeah i looked like, like kristen ritter a lot like kristen ritter yeah yeah kristen ritter has that kind of moodiness that you have how dare kind of you woke up in a bad mood no nonsense get out of my office <laughs> oh how did you both get through uni without losing your marbles now i think we should do a video on university we? because we both lost our marbles yeah. honestly they were probably the hardest times of both of our lives and I think that we should open up and talk about it. I'll do that. Would you? Yeah. So yeah, we both struggled with um, different mental health issues, both of us during university, and Alex hasn't spoken about that at all. And no. I have, I had an eating disorder at university, and I had a lot of social anxiety, and I had so much fun at university, but I also had the hardest times of my life there, so it's kind of like a mm. tricky one for me, and same for you, I think. Let, we'll make a video. Let us know if you'd quite like to see a university video from us and we can talk about our experience and do like a Q&A. Yeah. But that's the last question, I think. Yeah, that'd be good. But I hope you enjoyed it. A little sit down. <sighs> so have bright. you been looking at the camera? I'm pretty sure I have. Good. But, you know, I can't actually really see my face and focus. So. <laughs> no. Anyway, um, hope you enjoyed this for Vlogmas. Hope you're enjoying Vlogmas all together. And hopefully we'll be in our house soon. Right, okay. Bye. Bye.